The group is a novel written by Mary McCarthy, published in 1963. The story follows eight young women who graduated from Vassar College in 1933 and their lives over the next decade. The novel focuses on the women's relationships, both romantic and platonic, as well as their personal and professional struggles. The main characters include Kay Strong, the narrator, who is a social worker, Lakey, a liberal and feminist, Dottie, a traditionalist and homemaker, Polly, an artist, Libby, an intellectual, Harriet, a socialist, and Vi and Chris, who are both more conservative. The novel explores the women's experiences with love, marriage, motherhood, career, and politics. The novel begins with the women's graduation from Vassar and their subsequent move to New York City. They all live together in a large apartment and form a close-knit group. Kay begins a relationship with a man named Paul, while Lakey has a tumultuous romance with a man named Peter. Dottie gets engaged to a man named Ken, and Polly starts dating a man named Ned. As the years pass, the women's lives change and evolve. Kay and Paul marry, but their relationship becomes strained due to Paul's infidelities. Lakey and Peter break up, but later reconcile and have a child. Dottie and Ken have a child, but their marriage becomes unhappy. Polly and Ned break up, but later reconcile and have a child. Libby, Harriet, Vi, and Pris all have their own romantic and professional struggles. Throughout the novel, the women also grapple with issues related to their roles as women in society. They discuss feminism, contraception, and abortion, and the novel touches on the social and political changes of the time, such as the rise of fascism and the Spanish Civil War. Overall, the group is a complex and nuanced novel that explores the experiences and struggles of a group of young women in the 1930s. It delves into themes of love, friendship, motherhood, career, politics, and the changing roles of women in society. It is considered a classic of 20th century literature and is still widely read and discussed today.